Hello, and welcome back to Drone Pilots for Hire by AirShot Live. Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick and easy video mission for a client that's looking for 4K content. We'll be doing seven specific shots that's gonna provide us the content we need to offer deliverable to our client using just the native DJI Fly app. Today, we'll be flying using the Apple Mini as well as the DJI Mavic Air 2. The flight conditions are near perfect. Overcast is about 50%. I wish there's a little bit more light, but off in the distance, I can see some nice puffy clouds are gonna offer for a great backdrop. So we'll be flying the DJI Mavic Air 2. I love this sensor on this. We'll also be using the iPad mini, which works great with the DJI Mavic Air 2 controller. And then the post edit process using the DJI Fly app is as easy as pie. So we've already went over our safety plan. We've went over our flight plan. We've checked Aloft to make sure that the mission isn't gonna be flown in controlled airspace and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and go through some basic setup in the DJI Fly app. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into safety. We're gonna look at our altitude. We're under 400 feet. Maximum distance is 7,300 feet, which I never go that far. And auto return to home is 232 feet. I think 232 feet is a safe elevation with no obstructions in this area. So it looks like our compass is normal. Our IMU is calibrated. Our battery looks good. It looks like we are ready for our flight. Our next two shots are trucker left and trucker right. And what that is, equal elevation to the rooftop, left to right, right to left. Now we're gonna do right to left. Success, we had a great mission. We got all the shots we needed and now we're gonna to get to the iPad to go ahead and start the edits and get the deliverable ready for our client. First, we have to go into our DJI Fly app and while the RC and drone are connected and turned on. Go into the albums and then select the photographs or the videos that we'll be using and download the high definition videos. Otherwise, the videos you're getting are gonna be low resolution, 720. Uh, you're not gonna get the quality that you're looking for. And so the way you can tell whether or not they've been downloaded or not 
is this one has already been downloaded and this one has not. Once you have your videos downloaded and they're native to the iPad app, you're going to go back into the albums and you're going to select the videos that you want to create with. And there's a couple of different methods you can use. You can either use the predefined templates or you can create your own template. The way to do that is you hit the create button over in the lower right hand corner. Today, we're gonna to be doing a finished product, so we're gonna go into the Pro. And then once we're in the Pro, we're gonna select the videos that we want to use for our product. We can add more, but since we already have uh, the videos that we want to use downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the already predefined videos that I've selected, and I'm gonna select them all in the order I took them. So looking at these, this one was the dolly, then we had the two trucking, we had the bird's eye, we had the rise and reverse, we also had a 360 orbital, and then the final creative. More than likely, I'll start out with all of these in the same chronological order because I do like that order. It's easier to get your shots in the order that you want to create with, but sometimes you do wind up by switching it around because it just makes sense. So we can see we're putting all this together. Right now it's transcoding. So essentially what it does is it takes that high definition, puts it back into a low definition so you can create and then it rebuilds it back in high definition. Unedited. This video would be about four minutes long. And so our goal is to streamline this video into about a minute and a half. So the way that we'll do that is we'll cut out any unnecessary movements and we'll speed up video in certain locations. We'll definitely eliminate some of the 360, which probably takes up the 360 orbital, which probably takes up the majority of that four minute session. All right. so. We'll begin with the very first clip. Got our clips trimmed and our timing done. So all we need now is to do our transitions. With transitions, I really like the dissolve transition. I think it just has a very clean effect, but you've, there's a lot of different options to choose from. You can do blur, you can do black, white, swipe left, right. So you can see there's a lot of different options here to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with one for the purposes of demonstration. And we'll go ahead and apply to all. So now all of those transitions are automatically inlaid in between each one of our uh, each one of our clips and now we'll go ahead and go into some advanced editing features we're going to go ahead and take a look at the filters right here and so with the filters there are predefined filters that you can select from which i do like a few of these and oftentimes uh, if i am making a video on the fly and I don't have a whole lot invested in the, um, you know, in the investment from the client as far as post edit. Uh, sometimes just using these advanced or these predefined filters is the best way to achieve the, the goal that you're looking for.
add more to the filter or take away some of the auto filter, all you gotta do is use the scroll bar here. So that's got a really nice, clean, crisp, sharp image. We'll go ahead. If we do want to adjust the colors on this, we can do so. Uh, we can go in and we can apply to all. So it, let's say we don't have enough brightness and you're a little underexposed and you want to add to your exposure, you can hit that and you can add brightness to it. Uh, you can do contrast, saturation, temperature, and then if you want to have a little, um, vignette around the outside. You can add black or white. You can see how that kind of adds a little cinematic view to the video as well. And so these features are very basic features, but uh, they are extremely useful. Like I said, if you're in a scenario where you're putting together a quick 4K video for a client and they don't want to invest, you know, 25, 30 hours of post edit Sometimes you've got a customer, they've got a budget and they want to work on it. So using a software application like the DJI Fly app to provide a deliverable is the best option to go. All right, so we'll go ahead and just hit apply to all on this. That looks good. Now we're nearing the end of our video here and so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some music to it and so there are predefined music that um you know that dji offers and these are all royalty free music so you have an option to use these this often takes me the most amount of time just kind of listening to the music and what's going to go along with the the video that i'm creating so sometimes I'll take 10 minutes to just kind of go through and watch the video and then listen to what kind of sound I'm looking for to match up. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just look at the, the time and if it's close, if it's a minute and a half and I've got a minute and a half video, I'm just gonna look at that one because it's gonna, it's gonna give me the correct coverage I need as well. We went ahead and added a couple of options for the text which are very limited compared to products like Adobe Premiere and Adobe Premiere Rush even for that matter. Um, so I did kind of play around with it a little bit and I found uh, kind of what I liked. Add your text there and then you can type in what you like hit done and you can also add in different styles of fonts which there's not a whole lot to choose from but uh, I think you got maybe 25 or 20 fonts to choose from you can change the color of the font as well the size is easy to change by simply grabbing this in the corner and shrinking it and making it larger and smaller. You also can go in and change the animations. So these are the different animations and how they work. So we selected this animation, but I think there's about 30. You, When you do that, you can select your in animation so if you want to select it for your in animation, you select that. And then if you want to select your out animation, you can change your out animation to whatever you like. You can also copy it. So if you create one and you want to throughout the whole entire video, add more text and graphics, and you want to have a uniform um, layout, you, all you got to do is make one and then select copy. And once you copy it, you can click and drag, or you can highlight and drag it to whatever location you want. 
there we have it. You know, essentially we put together a deliverable product that has graphics, has music and transitions in probably about 30 minutes or so. All right, so once we've completed the product and we're ready to go ahead and export it, we're just gonna go ahead and export it out in 1080.